Now let us discuss the oscillation of a ball at the neck of a nerve chamber. Suppose let's take an air chamber like this with a neck, with a cylindrical neck. Let the whole volume of the air chamber be V. Suppose if you place a ball such that it smoothly fit at the neck of mass M, smoothly fit at the neck and if you move that ball to little down like this, this is the initial position of the ball and this ghost picture represents the final position of the ball and the, let the ball be displaced through a distance x. What you see is this ball will oscillate. Remember the mass of the, the ball must fit correctly or smoothly with the neck. Clear. Now we have the original volume, original volume of the chamber of the air chamber equal to V. Change in volume, change in volume is equal to delta V. So what is the change in volume? If A is the cross sectional area, this 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 small cylinder, the portion of the neck up to this length. Here it is A, here it is the length X. This is the change in volume. So it will be AX. Clear? I'm just I just drawn that separately. This the neck, the portion of the neck within this region, within this mass. It, it will also be like a cylinder. So that's equal to AX. Then we have volume strain. Volume strain. We have volume strain is equal to change in volume divided by the original volume. That is equal to AX divided by V. Clear. Now we have the expression for bulk modulus. Bulk modulus. Bulk modulus is equal to pressure divided by volume strain. Volume strain. Clear. But remember the volume always decreases. So you have to put the minus sign in order to compensate that. That is equal to minus P divided by volume strain is delta V divided by V. This is equal to minus PV divided by delta V. Delta V. That is equal to minus PV divided by delta V is equal to AX. Let's represent the bulk modulus with E. With the letter E. So E is equal to minus PV by AX. Implies P can be represented as EAX by V. That is minus EX by V. Taking this term to the left and putting the V downward. So this is the expression for pressure. Now you know that the force acting on at the neck force is equal to force will be net force let's say F net is equal to pressure into area that is equal to minus EAX divided by V into area area of cross section is A. So net force is equal to minus E A square X divided by V. Let's call that as equation number 2. Also from the Newton's law you have net force is equal to mass into acceleration. Let's call that as equation number 3. From 2 and 3 it is clear that both represents the net force which means you can equate that. That is M A is equal to minus E A square X divided by V. That is M into A is actually D square X by D T square equal to minus E A square X divided by V. So this is equal to D square X by D T square is equal to taking the m to the right e a square by m b times x so this is equal to 
d square x by t t square plus e a square divided by m v x is equal to 0. Let's call this as equation number 4. Now we have the expression for differential equation of SHM equal to dx square d square x by dt square plus omega square x equal to 0. If you compare, let's call that as equation 5. If you compare 4 and 5, they both are same. Clear? Which means the ball oscillates in SHM. The motion of the ball at the neck is in SHM. So comparing you will get this will give the omega square. So omega square is equal to E A square by M V. Which means omega is equal to root of E A square divided by M V. That is equal to omega can be written as 2 pi divided by time period t is equal to root of e divided by mv into a a square is a so t divided by 2 pi taking the reciprocal it will be root of mv divided by e into 1 by a clear therefore time period t is equal to 2 pi root of mv divided by e you can write the a here so this is the expression for the time period clear now for the isothermal process let's take two different cases if the variation of pressure and volume if pv variation of pressure and volume is isothermal for in isothermal case we have the bulk modulus is equal to pressure so the equation will be let's write time period in isothermal is equal to 2 pi divided by area root of mv divided by instead of e you can write p this is the case for isothermal now if pv is adiabatic adiabatic then we have bulk modulus is equal to gamma p where gamma is the heat specific heat capacity ratio of gases then you can write t adiabatic is equal to 2 pi divided by a root of a root of mv divided by p is gamma p clear 